Hi folks, just a couple of minutes for some very, very basic X-Acto knife or hobby knife safety tips. Um, as you can see, the X-Acto knife, the hobby knife is a pen sized um, uh, tool. And if we pop the cap off here, you can see that it has a short, replaceable, very, very sharp blade. As I move it in the light, that very bright area on the angle here, right, right in this area, is the cutting surface and of course the point is very sharp. This side over here is not the cutting surface. A um, couple of quick things. Of course we don't ever want to carry this in a haphazard way. No running around, no waving it, especially when you're around other people because you know that's when the mistakes and the accidents happen. Um, the other thing is when you're picking this up that blade is awfully sharp and you always want to pick it up by the handle. You don't want to pick it up by the blade or just kind of reach for it. You always want to know what you're doing. Grab it by the handle. Conversely, when you're handing it to someone, grab it on not the knife blade side, but grab it down here and you hand it to somebody handle first so that they can take it like that. Um, if somebody's moving quickly, if somebody doesn't know what you're handing them, if somebody is just not paying attention, they could stab themselves very easily when you hand them the knife. So always hand it to them, handle first. Okay, next thing you need to know is that a sharp blade is a safe blade. So make sure that your blade is sharp and relatively clean. You know, when we're using artist materials, as you can see here with this one, um, you know, tape and things like that uh, do tend to gum up these blades and that that is a dirty blade. Um, I clean them off from time to time with mineral spirits, but you know, sometimes you're better off just replacing them. Always make sure that the blade is on tightly. Um, grab the blade on the back side, not the cutting edge. Grab it here and twist the knife so that you're sure that it's in there nice and tight, okay? Um, when you are cutting, uh, another really important thing, this is a piece of cardstock here, but if I move it out of the way, I am protecting my table surface, and I'll talk more about this in another video, but this is a self-healing cutting mat, and it protects my table surface. All these things will definitely scratch wood, plastic, uh, anything that isn't stone or metal, um, and even some metals. So you wanna make sure that you are protecting your tabletop. It's the responsible thing to do. So uh, just a quick review. The knife blade is the triangular part. The the angled edge is the cutting edge where, where it's catching the light right now. See where it's bright. Um, this is not the cutting edge. And of course the point's very sharp. You always make sure that it's tight. You always make sure that when you're picking it up, you're picking it up by the handle and not by the blade. And when you're handing it to somebody, you hand it to them handle first so that they can take it without cutting themselves. Always protect your table. Oh, and one last thing. If you're using a ruler, don't use that kind. Use this kind. If you're using a ruler to make straight edge cuts, you want to use a metal ruler, not a plastic one and not a wooden one. Anyway, so those are the very, very basic ideas for using an X-Acto type hobby knife. Thanks.